ना इवतु न्यूरल कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन चैप्टर सिनैप्सिस बगे डिस्कस मारना ओके द ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी नल बरों तो उन द चैप्टर ये चैप्टर नल कोड़ा ना वन आर टू क्वेश्चन ना एक्सपेक्ट मार बो दो ना सीईटी एग्जाम के ओके न्यूरल कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन द नेम इंडिकेट दैट नर्वस सिस्टम हैव कंट्रोल द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ बॉडी ऑर्गन एंड दे वाल सो कोऑर्डिनेट कोऑर्डिनेट मींस इट कोऑर्डिनेट द टू आर मोर ऑर्गन फंक्शंस ओके कमिंग टू द नर्वस सिस्टम ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स दे हैव ऑब्जर्वड मेनली सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम सीएनएस एंड पेरिफेरल नर्वस सिस्टम पीएनएस ओके एंड बोथ CNS and PNS they have mainly made up of by a basic unit neuron and the neurons or nerve cells is called as a structural and functional unit of nervous system along with nerve cells they have also observed neuroglia is one of the unspecialized cells but they are more in number but they are support to the neurons when now coming to the structure of neuron neuron have contain mainly three parts dendrites cell body and axon okay cell body have contained distinct nucleus and cytoplasma they called as a neuroplasma it's surrounded by some granular bodies they called as nasal granules they are derived from the protein and endoplasmic reticulum then cell body have contained some outward projections like structures they called as dendrites it receive the signals from another neuron and send towards the cell body then in towards the cell body the signals can transmitted through a, a long fibrous thread like structure is called as axon okay that axon have transmit the impulse towards the cell body at the end of the axon it will be branched they called as telodendrites or synaptic nerve okay the synaptic nerve have consist vesicles it release some chemicals they called neurotransmitter it allow for transmit the signal from one neuron to another neuron when now coming to the axon it will be two types in some neuron axon will covered by a myelin sheath derived from the squamous cells in between myelin sheath they have also observed some node of ranvir they called as malinated neurons but in some neurons the malinated sheath is completely absent but squamous cells are present they called non malinated neurons okay next neurons will be classified into three types monopolar neurons bipolar neurons and multipolar neurons mono or unipolar neurons they have contain only one cell body and one axon there is no dendrites such neurons called unipolar they have observed only in embryonic stage then the cell body contain only one dendrites and one axon they called bipolar neuron it observed in high region okay optic nerve region then the cell body contain many dendrites and one axon is called as multipolar neuron it present in cns and pns peripheral nervous system okay this is the neuron structure then how the signals can conducted and impulse are transmitted in neuron on the neuron only impulse hege generate agutte matte hege transmit agutte adr bage discuss martta hogana generation and conduction of nerve impulse but before going to the conduction first have know about the axonemal membrane adr on the axon membrane structure hege irutte axon is exactly similar to the plasma membrane okay but the plasma membrane they have more permeable to potassium ion and less permeable to sodium ion and the outer region have contain more sodium ions and inner region contains negatively charged proteins it is also impermeable in nature but that plasma membrane have contain one active ion pump okay that me active ion pump means with conception of atp they have pumped the three sodium ions outward and two potassium ion inwards these are all changes takes place in the neurolemma membrane outward the positively charged sodium ions will be formed inner negatively charged ions are formed okay the electropotential difference across the axonemal membrane is called as active potential or polarity 
Okay, this is the resting neuron characteristics. The neuron resting stage is the resting potential maintained. Outer positive charge, inner negative charge. Right? When the stimulation will occur, the stimulation that stimulated region, that neurolemma membrane have reversed their permeability. Reverse their permeability means a sudden outflow of sodium ions. The sodium ions exolema move move. That means have changed their polarity. Okay, inner will positively charged, outer negatively charged. That's called as action potential will generate it. Okay, then at the site of stimulation, inner will positive, outer will negative. But the next site, the next site inner will be negative, and the positive current will flow from the action potential site. It considered as a A, it transferred from A site to B site. And outer also the current flow from B site to A. Then the next site will also permeability will be reversible. It's called as conduction of nerve impulse. Now, neural control and coordination chapter CET questions are discussed. Okay, first question he gave during a resting stage, the axonal membrane is option A impermeable to both cation and anions, option B permeable to anions and impermeable to cations, option C more permeable to potassium ions and nearly permeable to sodium ions. Option D, none of these. Okay. In resting stage, axonal membrane. Now, one do now impulse conduction or yield state na observe marthi bhi. One do resting potential, another one is action potential. Resting potential lally, almost outer side of the axolemma it positively charged ions and inside the axolemma observed negatively charged ions. That means the electro potential difference across the membrane it positive and negative charged ions is called as a resting potential. Even the positive and negative ions formation of the inner and the outer, the reason is the axolemma membrane it more permeable to potassium ions and nearly impermeable to sodium ions by passively. But the axonema or axonal membrane have contained one active sodium potassium pump. That active pump which consume ATP, it pump 3 molecules of sodium outside and 2 molecules of potassium inside. Due to that active pump, outer side positively charged ions are formed, inner negatively charged molecules are formed. That state is called resting potential. Next question, the cerebral cortex is, option A, the outer layer of cerebrum called white matter. Option B, inner layer of cerebrum is called white matter. Option C, the outer layer of cerebrum called gray matter. Option D, inner layer of cerebrum called gray matter. Okay. In our brain, they have observed major part is cerebrum. In cerebrum region, they have observed two region cortex. The outer covering of cerebral hemisphere is cortex region. The cortex region is a gray in color, it is called as gray matter. Okay. Non malinated sheath axons are present in that region, it gives rise to gray color, it is called as gray matter. And the correct answer is the outer layer of cerebrum is called as gray matter. The secretion of gastric juice is controlled by option A cerebellum. Option B, ANS, autonomic nervous system. Option C, cerebrum. Option D, medulla. Normally, the secretion of gastric juice from like in stomach, 
the gastric juice or secretion is controlled by medulla region, medulla oblongata. That region have controlled the gastric secretion, vomiting sensation, okay, and also secrete the respiratory rhythmic centers. Almost all vital functions can control by medulla region, medulla oblongata. Next question, outermost covering of brain is? Option A, pia matter, option B, dura matter, option C, choroid, option D, arachinoid, okay. Covering layer, especially outermost covering layer of brain. Okay, nama brain na main agi cover martha arodo, one the meninges layer and meninges layers, the, next to the meninges layer they have observed cranium bone. Okay, brain is located in a cranium or brain box. This is the cranium bone. In above the cranium bone, they have observed skin, glowing skin. Okay. In next to the cranium bone, they have observed meninges layer. In that meninges layer, outer layer is dura matter. Inner layer is pia matter. Middle arachinoid. The arachinoid are filled with the cerebrospinal fluid. But the question is outermost covering layer of brain, covering layer of brain is meninges, outermost covering layer is dura matter. Option B is the correct answer, dura matter. Sodium potassium pump across membrane actively transports. Option A, two sodium ions outwards and three potassium ions into the cell. Option B, three sodium ions outwards and two potassium ions into the cell. Option C, two potassium ions outward and three sodium ions into the cell. Option D, three potassium ions outward and two sodium ions into the cell. The sodium potassium pump they can observe in axonemal membrane. In neurons, axonemal membrane, they have contained sodium potassium pump is an active pump. It transports the molecule across the molecule by consuming ATP. Okay, ATP na consume mod kundu transportation mod on the pump is the active transport on the call mod TV. It present in axonema. By consuming one ATP molecule by this pump, have pump three sodium ions outward the cell and two potassium ion into the cell. And the correct answer is option B, three sodium ion outwards and two potassium ion into the cell. Due to that transport action, the axonemal membrane they have shows electropotential difference across the membrane. In outer, completely positive charge, inner, negatively charged molecules called as resting potential.